Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, it's Amin here and I've been away for a while, I haven't uploaded a video for a while and there are a few reasons for that but one of them is that I was in, in Morocco for a week so a few weeks ago I went to Morocco for a week, I was working there with my business partner who lives there, I was in Tanja it was a really amazing experience, really interesting, I was really impressed by the country and I've got a podcast coming out all about my whole experience but in summary I think it's the type of place that almost anyone could live in like it's a very, it's, it's on the spectrum of things, on the scale of things um, thing it, it's easy to live there I would say and it, it's a nice place to live for sure especially in Tanja in the north place the north side of Morocco where the climate is really good and stuff but in the south I've not been there uh, but yeah the Tanja was very impressive now the second reason I was away is because I spent a week at the front row retreat uh, the front row is my Muslim men's community for ambitious Muslim men working to reach their goals smash through their goals goals uh, aggressively pursue their goals and to do that with coaching with mentoring with support and brotherhood of others around them and with accountability because we all need that at one point or another to push through resistance laziness lack of focus whatever it is so we came together from all over the world from ireland sweden the uk different places in the uk brothers came for six days to spend in istanbul together we rented out an amazing villa and we had a great time just getting to know each other on that deeper level. The kind of conversations you have when you're in person, face to face, especially days together, living together, is different to if you're online. We've been working together online, having so many calls and coaching sessions online, but when you're face to face in person, it's so much deeper and so much better. And this is really one of my fundamental beliefs and why I set up the front row, not as a coaching thing, but as a community thing. My fundamental belief is that when people work together, when they feel supported by others, when they feel pushed and held accountable by others, they're going to achieve more. And not just more, sometimes they'll achieve stuff that they never would have achieved without that help and that support. That is my deep, deep belief. And that's why I set it up. And now I'm so glad that we've taken it from that brotherhood online to in person. So like I said, it was six days uh, living together in a villa. Um, it was an amazing villa. It was like, had an amazing view, had a garden where we were doing the exercise every day, had a park nearby. It was, it was a really great place, uh, alhamdulillah, which that could have gone wrong, but it didn't. And it was something also fundamentally out of my comfort zone. You know, I've always been someone doing business online, right? Where not much can go wrong. The worst thing that could go wrong online maybe is you're doing a webinar, 10,000 people sign up, which actually happened with us. And then it goes wrong, like the, the webinar software doesn't work, your internet goes down, whatever. Um, that didn't happen, alhamdulillah, but that kind of thing could happen. But when we're talking about in person, stuff in person, an event in person, a retreat, you know, people could fly in and the taxi takes them to the wrong place, the driver kidnaps them, who knows, <laughs> someone gets allergic reaction, whatever, uh, injuries, a lot could go wrong. So it's definitely out of my comfort zone because you also have to organize everything to a T. Um, nothing can go wrong. And so you have to re be really, really organized and think of all of the details. But alhamdulillah, it all went smoothly and I'm happy to say nothing went wrong. The opposite happened actually, that everybody left the retreat feeling energized, feeling great, feeling like they have a strong determination and purpose to achieve their goals. And how did we do that? We had a special morning routine. We, we did our morning adhkar, we prayed Qiyam al-Layl, we read Qur'an, we did exercise, really, uh, mashallah, Abdul Qadir, the brother, he, he led the exercise for us, and Ibrahim as well. They led the exercise for us and we really pushed ourselves in the exercise. Um, then we also had some talks. So I delivered a few talks. We had some guest speaker to deliver the talks. And those were around the theme. I would say the whole theme of the retreat was high ambitions, aiming high, and really doing it for the sake of Allah. And, aim, and what is aiming high? High for what? How do we define high? How do we define ambition? And what are some examples of great people who had high ambitions that we can model our own ambitions off? Uh, we went through all of that. We had great deep conversations about our lives, about how we've changed, about the uh, fears and challenges that we face. And it was amazing on that side. Then on top of that, we had activities every day. And it was really packed out with activities, you know. And some of these activities, as part of that mental barrier pushing beyond it of what you're comfortable with, what you're used to, um, we did activities that no one done before, you know. We, we rented out a whole yacht. We went on a yacht, you're going to see some of the photos. We went on the yacht and 
for some people that was scary, right? They can't swim or whatever. Um, then other people, they never shot a gun before. We shot guns. Some people, they, they were worried about getting on a horse. We rode horses. So Alhamdulillah, it was really good in that sense. It was really fun. But also we did a lot of activities that were physical and that pushed us outside of our comfort zone. My personal favorite activity maybe was the hike. Uh, one morning we went early to uh, get a boat, get a ferry across the water to an island. And on that island, there is a hike uphill. So we walked about seven, eight kilometers uphill and we got to the top of the hill. There was an amazing view of the huge city of Istanbul, the ocean and all tens of ships waiting to cross through the Bosphorus Strait um, there in the ocean. And it was on top of that hill that we had breakfast together. We brought it, we prepared it together and we brought it up and we ate it. That was a great moment. And then we uh, went down that hill and we prayed Juma uh, that day on the island. Imagine this small island outside Istanbul, but it had a two, three different masajid on it, alhamdulillah. So um, it, w it was really great. That was probably my best, my favorite activity, but they were all amazing. Um, it was great for me to get back to horse riding uh, because I had been learning that. I had been taking regular lessons, uh, but I hadn't done it for a few months. So to get back on it and to be quite comfortable on the horse, that was, that was really good as well. And inshallah, you're going to see a lot of footage coming out soon of all of these activities and everything we were doing together. Um, one thing I want to say is I was I was impressed by the brothers, you know. Um, everyone was bringing a certain attitude, a certain motivation. Some of them, mashallah, really good with their hifd of Qur'an. Some of them really good on the exercise and fitness front. Um, and we were all a great package together, helping each other, pushing each other. And everyone carried themselves in a really good way, with good manners and, you know, like a, like real men, you know, alhamdulillah. I was very impressed by that. Not that I expected anything less, but it's just to... When you live with people, sometimes bad things come out, right? Which is normal. Um, but nothing bad came out. Alhamdulillah, it was great. <clears throat> so as I said, we had the morning routine. That was really good as well. We always finished that routine feeling great. And we finished the routine at like 9, 10 a.m. And we're ready to go, right? And there's so much more time left in the day, alhamdulillah. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it was great. It was, like I said, amazing to do this in person. I'm really looking forward to doing this at least once a year uh, for the members in the front row. And of course, next time, inshallah, will be bigger. More people uh, will attend. We might switch up the activities. We might switch up the location. You never know. We might just do another random one, like just a camping one, where it's just like hardcore wilderness. Uh, we'll see. But these kind of things, I do believe they build so much character. They build relationships between people. They build your mindset. And it's, there's just nothing like it. So inshallah, I'm looking forward to doing these in the future. But only for members of the front row. And right now you can't join the front row. It's closed right now. Uh, so no one is joining right now. However, we do open it now and then for those who fit the bill, those who are ambitious Muslim men who are looking to contribute and looking to push themselves and progress uh, aggressively in their goals. For those people, you can join the waitlist. And when you sign up for that waitlist, you can, we, we'll let you know when spots have opened up, when you can join, when you're eligible to, jo eligible to join. And you can click the link in the description to join that waitlist. Give us a bit of information about yourself to see if you're the right type of person. And I'm looking forward to opening up and meeting some of you guys very, very soon. So with that, it's just been an update. It was amazing. I am looking forward to doing it again. And I know every single guy that left that, they left feeling energized, ambitious, hungry. So see you in the future videos. Well, they'll be coming very soon, inshallah. And uh, yeah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.